Place is a really special place. We serve anyone who is touched by cancer or life-threatening illnesses. The Caring Place offers over 30 programs and services at no cost to adults diagnosed with cancer, their family members, and caregivers. This oasis away from medical facilities provides a comfortable spa-like environment offering joy, peace, and hope to adults who are faced with cancer. Our programs and services are designed to educate and support patients and their families with a variety of activities, classes, support groups, lectures, and events. And then we have a lot of group programs to inspire creativity and friendship building. And so what we do is uh, multifaceted with one goal in mind to help people really get through this journey with a sense of peace, with a sense of ease, and, and really help people come into feel happy once again. As time progressed and I kept coming and finding out that I was not by myself and seeing the love that the people here had shown me, they weren't showing pity, they were not showing sorrow, they were showing genuine care. So I'm not giving it up. At this particular point, they may say, hey, this guy has come for a long time. Let's open up a space for somebody else. That would be fine. But I love it so much. I love interacting with everyone that's here. And every time I come here, it takes me up another step, another step, step by step. I'm feeling terrific. Services such as massage therapy, reflexology, Reiki and guided imagery have shown to be beneficial in easing stress, anxiety, and some of the many side effects of cancer treatment. These services are offered to complement the medical care in the challenging journey of cancer treatment and recovery. About a year and a half ago, I was diagnosed with stage four lung cancer, adenocarcinoma, non-smoker's lung cancer, out of the blue. My doc put me on uh, all of the latest and greatest medical treatments. However, my head was not right. Um, it was pretty anxiety provoking as you can all imagine. And so I needed to do something to figure out how I was gonna be able to get my mind around this and, and, and cope. I was diagnosed five years ago with appendicidal cancer. Um, the Caring Place came into my life about four years ago. Definitely it's an oasis um, away from the doctors uh, from all of the uh, medical treatments, um, all of the financial worries, uh, I can go there and just as soon as I walk in the door, uh, I feel love and compassion and caring. I do a lot of Reiki and um, energy balancing there and the energy work has just been life changing. I recognized a different feeling in my mind which allowed for my body to do better with the medicine because my mind was more open and accepting that this was a state of, of being that I not only can beat, but that I had the tools to be able to figure out how I was gonna live a productive life. That changed everything. There was a board meeting taking place here and they came uh, to the realization that there was a piece missing. And what that piece was that was missing was a support group for men a place where men could come and share their experiences um, in a safe environment where they felt comfortable. Our life changed forever and that was the day my husband was diagnosed with stage four lung cancer. I found the caring place just because I, we had a five-year-old son at the time who's now seven and he, I felt he needed something in order to cope with his dad's illness. And little did I know, in finding something for him, I found something for all of us. We are so happy that The Caring Place is now a part of Nevada Childhood Cancer Foundation. And we are just thrilled at the idea that we can begin to extend services and programs to children who are faced with challenging health situations and to better take care of their family members. The Caring Place is truly unique and serves as an important avenue for achieving well-being, and improved quality of life. What the world needs now is love, sweet love. It's the only thing that there's
It's just too little love. What the world needs now is love, sweet love. No, not just for some.